It's the second annual Association of Nigerian Development Finance Institutions General Assembly. The forum is bringing together heads of development finance institutions at the federal and state levels to discuss how innovative financing schemes can enhance shared growth and development. <laughs> The managing director of the Bank of Industry, Olukayo De Piton, who chairs the assembly, notes with concern a World Bank report which predicts that Nigeria would be home to 95.1 million poor people before the end of 2022. The actions of all of us at this event shall have a significant input to determining whether the growth of Nigerian's population will promote prosperity and improve the livelihood of the Nigerian people or become a source of fragility, social tension, and increased economic hardships. So let's, uh, unveil After his speech, yeah. the new logo for the association is then launched. Uh. Speaker after speaker highlights some of the innovative financing models adopted by their institutions to create employment. As at, uh, last month, they've onboarded about 12 financial institutions that they can lend through, up to 12 of them. Uh, loans they've guaranteed, over 11,000 loans they've guaranteed to micro, small, and medium enterprises. And the volume of those loans is about 91 billion. Nigeria and indeed Africa are in dire need of financing to cushion the effects of the challenges that come with a growing population, namely unemployment, youth restiveness, and poverty. Areas such as agriculture, industries and the service sectors are seen as key catalysts for addressing these challenges. For us to mobilize the so much funding that is required to support, to finance the SDGs and our national development plans and now the post-COVID-19 world, then we have to find innovative ways and innovative solutions and development banks are one of the key instruments. While the federal government continues to stress on the need to finance the activities of small and large businesses, collaborations from members of development finance institutions and members of the private sector will help give a boost towards achieving the much-needed socio-economic development which the country desires.